everyone. Uh, we're still in the middle of Let's Playing Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater, but um, yeah, let's try out the new Metal Gear Online, Metal Gear Solid 4 Online beta test. Um, I meant to bring this out like about a week ago, I meant to do this, but um, yeah, the Konami servers underestimated how many people were going to be trying to play it, how many people are so excited about this game. So that's kind of good news, and um, this is just a beta test, so I don't know how much... It's probably going to be very similar to the final product, but if we have any issues, if we have any issues, I'm just going to just keep that in mind. It's a beta test, so... All right, um, okay. And it's pretty late right now, so I'm not even sure if anyone's gonna be around, but it's worth, uh, it's worth a shot anyway. Yeah, it looks like 665. Oh, man. Yeah, let's go there. Start auto-matching. And we're going to do team deathmatch. And these games only take five minutes. And I'm going to try to only do one of them. Hopefully the time's out right. <clears throat> but um, <clears throat> if I have to split this into two videos, it's not an issue. Alright, and yeah, that didn't take very long I, at all. It goes through and auto-matches you with similar, with other players with similar uh, rankings, I guess. And uh, play a red team versus blue team match. The objective is to defeat opposing players. A team that reduces the other team's tickets to zero first wins. And, um, yeah, whatever. Alright, um, so right now it looks like we're on the red team, and you press start to go from ready to okay, and once everybody does that, then we can start, but I don't know if Lieutenant Jackass knows what he has to do, oh, yeah, and there's a timer up at the top, we only have 30 seconds left in case, uh, no, in case not everybody clicks ready. Or clicks OK. But here we go. So here's the weapon select. And in this game mode, you build up points by um, getting kills and stuff. Um, real quick, if you hit triangle, you can link up with all your dudes. So when they go around corners and behind walls, I should be able to see where they're at, where they're looking, if they're shooting at someone. I should be able to see who they're shooting at. <clears throat> and the controls on this are a little funky. <clears throat> especially because I've been playing so many... <clears throat> oh, especially because auto-aim's on. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> wow. Got a little choked up there. Um... Anyway, you can toggle auto-aim with triangle, and I'm getting myself killed. Oh, man. Oh. Sounds kind of like um, Killer Instinct, the Saber Wolf or whatever. Um, anyway, up at the top left, I have a lot more points now, so I'm going to take a uh, better weapon. And as I was saying about the controls on this, it's kind of strange, but probably just because I've been playing so many different shooters recently. Um, 
But, yeah, it's not... I can't remember what team I'm on. That's gotta be my teammate, right? Yeah. Um, anyway, when you're running around, you have to hold in L1 to, like, be able to use an attack. Otherwise, when you hold... When you hit R1, he just, like, uh, does a shove or a prod. And other than that, a lot of the other things you'd expect from a Metal Gear game are the same. Like, X button, you can duck or get down completely. Um, R2, you can switch through your weapons. And actually, they put a real nice grenade aim feature on here. So I'm going to try to get one right about there. And switch back to my rifle. I don't think I... I'm not sure if I hit anyone right there, but... Man. Alright, he's shooting up in that direction. It looks like he got him. And I just had a guy die up there. So we only have about a minute and a half, or two minutes left in this battle. They go by five minute periods, like, whoa! And I died. Bound to happen. Um, and yeah, we have a lot of points, so might as well <clears throat> buy some shit. Um... As far as the future of this game, I don't really know. If if you're not a fan of Metal Gear, then I really can't recommend it because it's not a standalone shooter. Like if you're looking for a good online shooter, then you know, look, this probably won't work for you. Try like Call of Duty or yeah, Call of Duty 4 or something like that. Um, on the other hand, if you like Metal Gear, then I guarantee that the actual game is going to be worth it, worth picking up. And, you know, this is just an added, it's a, look at it like a bonus. If you can actually find someone to shoot at. about running out of time in this uh you die now and stealing my kills hey we won and yeah had three kills two deaths and two headshots so, uh, yeah, that's another little weird thing about this game. Um, like, the... <clears throat> Alright, we're, uh, we're exiting right now, though. Go back. I don't know how to exit. Alright, quick game. So anyway, um, the hit detection in it, it's really good, but it takes a lot of rounds to kill someone. But you always end up having a lot of headshots. And I find that it's because you're spraying them all around the chest area. And then your last shot always finally just gets up to their head. So, um, that's one thing about it. And, yeah, I don't, I don't really know what else to say about it. It's a lot of fun. Um, the team play action, I did see some people with headphones on. And we were actually working as a team. So if that develops more, this game has a lot of potential. But um, other than that, you know, look for Metal Gear Solid 4. If you haven't played the other ones, um, the 3-pack is out for 30 bucks. Metal Gear Solid 1, 2, and 3. And um, the Collector's Edition or something like that. So you get all three games for, you know, 30 bucks. That's 10 bucks a game. And you can't go wrong at all. 
if you don't have a PlayStation 3, definitely pick that up if you see it. And yeah, um, look for the completion of uh, Snake Eater, you know, sometime soon. We'll get there. Anyway, thanks for watching, and yeah, stick around. See ya.